the Grand Mosque in Mecca. Saudi Arabia is allowing tens of thousands to visit the holy mosques in both Mecca and Medina during the month of Ramadan. This year it just looks much different with all these barriers, this increased security personnel and a lot of social distancing. One thing everyone here will have in common this year is that they need to prove that they've been immunized against the coronavirus. This means that everyone here has either received both doses of the vaccine or have received one dose of the vaccine 14 days prior or have gotten COVID and recovered. It's honestly quite an impressive sight. Ramadan is usually an extremely busy time for Mecca with swarms of worshippers around the mosque and inside the mosque. And uh, this was halted last year. Hajj and Umrah bring in about 12 billion US dollars annually to the Saudi economy. A lot of the tourism sector suffered a major loss last year. The app serves as a health passport and uses a color code system to identify the different statuses related to COVID-19. So for example, I have a dark green banner, which signals that I'm immune, and it says that I've completed the doses of the coronavirus vaccine. Ramadan is a holy month where Muslims reset their spirituality and reconnect with their faith. During this month, many Muslims choose to perform Umrah, which is a small pilgrimage to Mecca that can be done any time during the year, as opposed to the Hajj, which is a longer pilgrimage uh, in Mecca as well. Traditionally, Mecca would receive nearly 19 million pilgrims for Umrah annually. When the pandemic hit in March 2020, Saudi Arabia quickly took major steps like banning all international travel for Saudis, and closing down religious pilgrimage. This obviously was a really big hit for the Saudi economy because the Umrah and Hajj account for nearly 20% of non-oil GDP and 7% of total GDP. With this year picking up on religious tourism, these businesses, hotels are really hoping to come back and have better profits this year.